Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be reviewing Alice in Wonderland. Um, with yesterday, how I didn't do my 2010 movie, uh, it was, well, movie review, it was How to Train Your Dragon, which I have already reviewed, so if you want to check it out, it's in, uh, my channel somewhere. Um, I don't know how long ago I reviewed it, but I think it was like four months ago, I can't remember, but, uh, because I had a little confusion, but actually today was Alice in Wonderland. And that's a good fit, because, yeah. Oh, anyway. Let's just review Alice in Wonderland. It's directed by Tim Burton, screenplay by Linda uh, Wolverton, based on Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, produced by Richard D. Zanuck, uh, Joe Ruth, Suzanne Todd, Jennifer Todd, starring Johnny Depp, Anna Hathaway, Helena Bohem Carter, Crispin Glover, Matt Lucas, Mia Wazowska, uh, Mia, M Mia Wazowska, whatever the hell you say her last name, Alan Rickman, Stephen Fry, uh, Michael Sheen, uh, Timothy Spell, uh, cinematography, uh, cinematography from Darius Wazowski, uh, edited by Chris, Chris Lebonzon, uh, music by Danny Elfman, production companies from Walt Disney Pictures, Roth Films, the Zanuck Company, Team Todd, uh, distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures, uh, released February 25th, 2010 in Odin, Manchester Square, and March 5th, 2010 in the United States. It ran for 108 minutes. The budget for this movie is $150 uh, million to $200 million. And in the box office, it got 1.25, uh, one, well, 1.025 uh, well, zero two five uh, billion dollars, which is really good uh, for well, I can't say my score, but yeah. The plot in London, eighteen seventy one, troubled by a strange, uh, re uh, recurring dream and mourning the loss of her father, nineteen year old Alice uh, Kingsley attends a garden party at Lord uh, Lord Escott's estate. There she is comforted with an unwanted marriage proposal by Lord Escott's son, Hamish, and then shifting expectations of the sorority in which she lives. Unsure on how to proceed, she pursues and follows a rabbit wearing a blue waistcoat and carrying a pocket watch, and falls into, uh, falls into a deep rabbit hole under a tree. She enters a small door by drinking uh, from a bottle labelled Drink Me, Called Push Slave, an emergency, an an emergence uh, to a forest in a magical place called Wonderland, where she is greeted by a white rabbit, a dormouse, a dodo, talking flowers, and identical twins named Tweedledee and Tweedledum, who are apparently no, who apparently all know her. Uh, yeah. Uh, cast: We've got Johnny Depp as Mad Hatter. We've got Mia Wazowska. What do you? As Alice Kingsley, Helena Boham as the Red Queen, Anna Hathaway as the White Queen, Crispin Glover as Azofo Stain or the Cave of Hearts, uh, Matt Lucas as uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I love Matt Lucas. Uh, Francis D. La Tour as uh, Alice's aunt, uh, Leo Bill as Hamish Ascort, uh, uh, Hamish. Another voice cast, Michael Sheen as the White Rabbit, Alan Rickman as the Caterpillar, Stephen Fry as Chris Shire, Barbara Windsor as the Dormouse, Timothy Spell as Barnyard Hammer, uh, Paul Whitehouse as the March Hare, or Ha, Hare, I don't even know, and more. Uh, production, Tim Burton signed with Walt Disney Pictures to direct two films in Disney's uh, digital 3D, which included Alice in the Wonderland and his remake of Frank and Weenie. Uh, Burton developed the story because he never felt emotional tied to the book. He explained the goal to try to make it an, an engaging movie where you get some of the physiological and some kind of bringing the freshness, but also keep the classic nature of Alice. On prior versions, Burton said it was uh, always a girl wandering around from uh, one crazy character to another, and I really feel, f and I never really felt any real emotion connection, emotional connection. He, his goal uh, with the new film to give this uh, 
is to give story to give the story some framework on emotional grounding and to try and make Alice feel like uh, like more like this like a story and opposed to the series of events. Um Alice in the Wonderland uh, in Wonderland or whatever um uh yeah it's not a good movie I didn't enjoy it I kind of was I kind of felt like it was a bland movie and kind of hard to watch which yeah Alice in Alice in Wonderland I mean Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter meh he, he didn't really have a good story to him. Uh, and then Alice, uh, played by Mia Wazowska, whatever her last name is, um, she's alright. The story to her, yeah, it's fine, but it's not good. Um, it's an okay story. Overall, Alice in the Wonderland, nah, it's bad. Yeah, it's leaning towards more bad than good. Uh, I... I mean, I, I did watch this movie, like, when I was little, so... And I used to love this film. And then I rewatched it, and then I hate it. Which is sad. But, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, but, yeah, for my score for Alice in, the, Alice in Wonderland, I'm going to be giving it a 2 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'm going to be giving it a 45%. Grade, I'm going to be giving it a D-. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it a 4.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my review for Alice in in Wonderland. Stay tuned to my Suicide Squad movie review and Mad Max um, review because I'll tell you why I'm reviewing Mad Max when I do the review. But yeah, thank you for uh, for watching my review for Alice in Wonderland. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to, to my channel. Be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.